Hi, my name is Yaniv, and today I will be talking about Puppeteer. Puppeteer is a node library which lets you interact with the browser from remote, from node, and unlike other tools like Selenium or Protractor, which are mostly Selenium based, Puppeteer is based on Chrome DevTools protocol. I would like to start with explaining what is Chrome DevTools protocol, and the best way to describe it is by actually demonstrate how it works. So let's go and open Canary instance with wix.com site and remote debugging port. I will now go to my Chrome and navigate to this port. And I will have my debuggable instances and I can actually go and press this, click this tab. And I will now have DevTools controlling my remote side from here and basically this is just a web application this is just the UI it's even an open source project and it lets me interact with my site from remote I can for example go and change my background color to red much nicer I think or do things like alert so because this is just a web UI application, I can do something like open DevTools for it. So pay attention, I just open DevTools to my DevTools. It's a little bit confusing at start, but this is my, I, my web application, my DevTools, and I just opened DevTools, Chrome DevTools, in order to inspect it. And I'm doing this because I want to see the network behind the scenes, which is the way my dev tools are interacting with my remote browser. So I can go to WebSockets and sorry, let's hit refresh and now I will see my WebSocket connection and if I go here I can see frames which are all the things that are happening behind the scenes. So for example, you can see that if I'm playing here, a lot of stuff is going on behind the scenes. And for example, if I put alert here again, let's clear this. And if I put alert here again, I will see that I just had a message, runtime evaluate with an expression of alert high from the other side with all kinds of things going on here. So this is the way Chrome DevTools works and this is the way actually that Puppeteer works and let's play with it a little, a little more let's do it ourselves so let's open again let's open the same port with json slash versions and now I have all kind of data about my uh, debuggable chrome and what is what the thing that is interesting for me is the websocket address so now I can do something like open console and do the same thing that Chrome DevTools does but myself. Let's open a WebSocket connection with this address and now let's register messages that are received and log them to console because I want to see incoming messages as well and now let's start interacting with it I have a cheat sheet here because I don't remember all commands so for example I can do something like send a create target create target will open a new tab for me and let's open it with the same site Sorry, I have a bug here. And now I just opened another tab of, I created a target and I got a target ID. I will use this target ID in order to create a session. I will now attach to, to this target. This will create a session. Let's use the target ID. And now I have a session opened with this tab. And now after I have a session, I can just start interacting with it. Let's send 
a message target dot send message to target with my session ID that I just used I just copied and inside I will call method which is call function on and the function is alert high from the other side let's see if it works and yeah it works so this is basically puppeteer puppeteer is just a wrapper which lets you do all of those cool stuff using Chrome DevTools protocol and it's much nicer than just writing those commands yourself. So this was part one. In the next part, I will start playing with Puppeteer and show you the interface. Have a nice day and stay tuned. Bye.